The International Defence and Security Technologies Trade Fair, IDET, is one of the most important international exhibitions of defence technologies. The grand opening was held in front of the President of the Czech Republic, Miloš Zeman, the Minister of Defence, Martin Stropnitsky, and other special guests, including 15 foreign delegations. All participants emphasized the importance of the worsening security situation, requiring investment in high-quality, state-of-the-art equipment. 390 exhibitors from 30 countries presented their products to the over 26,000 specialists from around the world, who visited the trade fair over the three days. The Military Research Institute is an important exhibitor at IDET. Their stand was in close proximity to the stand of the Czech Army and the Ministry of Defence, with whom the Institute works closely in the development and testing of materials and systems in the field of defence and security. Their main exhibit was on show here, the Igloo Mobile Shelter. The climax of the trade fair was the award ceremony for the prestigious Golden Idet and Idet News 2017 awards, which took place at Slavkov's Austerlitz Chateau. The prestigious journalist award, the Silver Idet News, was won by the Military Research Institute Brno for their exhibit, the special mobile shelter, the Igloo. The award was received by the director, Mr. Bohuslav Shafard. Congratulations! The journalist award, the Silver Idet News for the Military Research Institute Brno. Our institute is involved in all kinds of ballistic and blast protection of personnel, vehicles and structures. We deal with materials such as armoured steel, laminates, composites, ceramic and also spore liners to catch the fragments. The material of spore liners is based on glass fibre, aramid or ultra-high molecular polyethylene laminates, which are able to effectively catch secondary fragments. We can see here a mobile modular shelter designed for the Czech Armed Forces, but can be offered to further customers too. The development project was based on the Czech Ministry of Defence order, which required light, modular and mobile shelter with high ballistic and blast protection to be developed within 18 months. Mobile means that it has to be light, could be moved by air and can be built without any mechanical equipment, just manually by the soldiers and engineers. Modular means that it is made up of several types of panels, which make it possible to build a variety of different types of igloo shelter depending on the current needs. We met with a prototype of the emergency sappers igloo shelter about a year ago. It was as part of military tests where we tested the shelter especially to see about putting it together. That meant how many people were needed to assemble it, how long it typically took, whether it was possible to swap individual parts, was it simple to assemble, or if the instructions worked, were clear and obvious. As far as the actual design is concerned, it's extremely well thought out. I was extremely satisfied with it. The overall assembly and connection of the individual parts has been extremely well designed to be compact. The shelter is made up of aluminium alloy panels, because the task was to have a lightweight and rigid shelter. Our test showed that the shelter could be built within two hours by three to four people. We congratulate the Military Research Institute on being awarded the prestigious prize and we wish them much success in the future.